Shall we have a look inside? Yes. Um, there's a great story. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm a fan of a greasy spoon. A little local calf uh, that does a good fry-up. And when you need a fry-up, you really need a fry-up. But there's a story in The Observer today suggesting that a lot of greasy spoons are closing. Um, one suggestion that um, the number of that have closed in the last few years is many thousands, maybe even tens of thousands. It's not very specific, this research, but nonetheless, it suggests that people, maybe as a result of the rise of sort of branded coffee shops and things, but also that there are fewer people doing big, heavy manual jobs. It says greasy spoon calves uh, popped up to uh, support people who were doing very manual jobs and needed a lot of calories in a very short space of time. So the greasy mm. spoon uh, catered to them. Uh, I don't know about you, I love a local greasy What's spoon. What's your excuse, Ben? Because this is not a job that requires a lot of calories. It's usually after getting up very early, <laughs> so therefore you feel that it's guilt-free. And what do you favour for your on your greasy spoon plate? Oh, mine's a full omelette, chips and beans. Oh! It's, uh, yeah, it's not a proper fry-up breakfast. No, but... you've got to have the bacon and sausage for it to be a full-on fry-up. Yeah. Uh, no, all about the omelette, the chips. And, and the a bit, very, yeah. very, very strong, dark brown cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Um, I've found industry. what I'm going to get you for Christmas, Ben. I've oh, been mulling it over and I've decided to go for an Ian Beal calendar. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, just what I wanted. <laughs> I know you're a big fan. Um, October, you'll be able to look at Phil being... Uh, um, at Ian being strangled. Uh, September, you can look at him having a hug from Phil Mitchell. July is him being punched by Grant Mitchell. Oh, what a uh, cheery calendar. And Christmas is a warm embrace from his ex-wife, Cindy. There you go. Oh, every month giving you a warm, cosy feeling. Right. How much is that? Fourteen ninety-five. A snip. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, thanks. Um, and are you a fan of The Masked Singer? I'm hitting all your spots this morning. <laughs> you know how much I love reality <laughs> TV. Uh, so the mass thing is returning um, and some of the new costumes have been released. <laughs> I do and I, like am, I love it too. <laughs> so we've got a traffic cone, bagpipes, okay. firework and a chandelier. Which one would you be? I quite like the look of that traffic cone. I'm not sure how much dancing you'll be able to do in it, but I do quite like the look. It's very of that. reminiscent of the stuff we wear when we're on location, isn't it? That it is. <laughs> the layers. <laughs> the layers and the high That's all we ask for. Uh, we'll talk more about that a little later, but it's just approaching uh, 6:20. We? we will, because I like that story. <laughs>